Thanks for coming. Of course. I'm ready to win some singles gold. But what was so sensitive that you didn't want to talk at SmackDown? I've been thinking. I want to make sure that your singles run is a success. I want to manage you. That's great! And you need to distance yourself from Ava. What? I've been watching your matches. You're the real star. If you drop the baggage, you're sure to get a title opportunity. Besides, you know that tag team partnerships never work out in the long run. It's only a matter of time. I know people around here turn on their partners like there's something in the water, but tag team partnerships can work out sometimes. Look at the New Day. And how long collectively has any of them been a singles champion? Okay, I see what you're saying, but I'm not sure if Ava is a problem. Molly says management has been really happy with our tag team reign. I'm sure she'd let me pursue the SmackDown Women's title, too. Molly. Fitting you'd bring her up, considering she's a great example of why tag teams don't work out. I'm speaking from personal experience. You know what she did to me. Everyone knows Justine. Molly turning on you in the middle of the ring is a classic WWE moment. <sighs> so then everyone knows she's a snake. A snake who has yet to book you in a championship match, despite all the work you've been doing. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she's holding you back on purpose. My relationship with Molly is different than yours. Molly's been helping me. Listen, I'll talk to her. I'm sure if I ask, she'll set me up with a championship match. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, I was actually looking for you. I wanted to talk to you and Ava about planning your next tag championship defense. Representing the division as the tag team champions has been great, but I actually wanted to talk to you about a singles run. Isn't there still one open slot in the Fatal 4-Way for the SmackDown Women's Championship at day one? I'd love to have that spot. You and the rest of the roster. Besides, you're doing a great job as one of the tag champions. Might not be best to split your focus right now. I hear you, but I've been working harder than the rest of the roster. When am I getting an opportunity? Just have some patience. <sighs> I'm beginning to wonder if there's something to what Justine was telling me. Excuse me? I'm sorry, but I have to bring it up. Justine is convinced that you have some ulterior motive against me because of your history with each other. She thinks that since you betrayed her in the ring, I shouldn't trust you. Seriously? Betrayed her in the middle of the ring? Do you really think that's all there is to the story? It happened on Raw, Molly. You turned on Justine during the middle of a match. Everyone saw. Are you going to tell me that didn't happen? No, I did that, but geez, don't believe everything you see on TV. What's that supposed to mean? I only turned on Justine because I caught wind that she was trying to turn on me. She was politicking with management backstage to get them to break up our tag team. She was so convinced she was a single star, she was prepared to throw me under the bus. But then I found out what she was up to and beat her to the punch, literally. That's what really happened? Listen, as far as I'm concerned, this is ancient history. What incentive do I have to lie to you now? And I'll be honest, it didn't end that badly for me. Turning on Justine? Let's just say that making a move like that in WWE is one hell of a statement and lets everyone know you mean business. Wow. Like I said before, I don't have any ill will towards your aunt today. Enough ancient history. Let's talk about your next tag title defense on SmackDown. And I'll think about putting you in the fatal four-way at day one. Long demanded by the WWE Universe and the competitors in the women's division. The women's tag team titles are indeed here, and tonight they're on the line. We've seen alliances in the women's division forming for years, and it's culminating with these pairs facing off for the top prize in women's tag team competition. Knee right to the face. Nice down kick, great elevation. 
Oh, the referee, the unfortunate victim of that hit. Yeah, that can't be good. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility. Oh, and some effective offense with that one. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Well, we knew going into match that it would be physical. But I'm sure she will tag out when the time is right. The springboard attack fails to land. And here we go now. Jumps the elbow. So strong is Liv's connection with the fans. Let's see if they can keep her in this fight. Samoan driver. That has got to be it. She's fighting back. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. So she tags in. Oh, the spear. Interceptor, Corey. Oh. <laughs> Lands a body shot. Goes. Fancy here. Backbreaker. Backbreaker. Oof. That can knock out. Yeah. Shoulder right in the midsection. Able to capitalize on Ava's mistake. Ava interrupts the attack. Big right hand. Big overhand. Could be looking for something big to end this match. This might do it from way up high. Slide power bomb. Two. Shoulder up, shoulder up. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. All right, that's it. Hurts on the shoulders. Rack and round. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Division. Here are your winners, and still, WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, the Warrior Princess, Nicole and Ava Moreno. An incredibly impressive showing by this tag team. That wasn't just a win, Cole, that was a top-level tag team performance. Take it from a former NXT Tag Champ.
Hey, did I hear that you and Ava are defending your tag titles at day one? Actually, I'm trying to get into the fatal four-way for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> that would be great for you. Hey, can I ask you something? How did you make it work with the rest of New Day when you went after King of the Ring? What do you mean? They didn't resent you? Resent me? <laughs> they supported me. Just like I supported Kofi Mania and Big E when he won Money in the Bank and the WWE Championship. When one of us wins, we all win. I guess I get that. <laughs> you know what they say. The whole is sometimes greater than the sum of its parts. And being in the New Day is all pluses. You can take that math right to the bank. You've had some interesting experiences with a tag team partner. <laughs> what kind of conversation starter is that? Hello, Sonia, how are you? There, I helped. Sorry, I just have some stuff on my mind. But with you and your partner, do you regret turning on her a few years ago? No. Because... I'm sorry, are we having a heart-to-heart -heart here? No, I don't regret it. You know when my career really started to take off? When I stopped playing nice and I started looking out for myself. And honestly, ultimately it worked out for her best interest too. Hey Sean, any chance I can pick your brain for some advice? Sure thing, kiddo. Always down to help. How do you know when it's the right time to make a big move, even when it might go against company plans for you? Are you asking me as WWE VP of Talent Development? Or as the Heartbreak Kid? Right. Definitely as HBK. I'll be the first to say, not to take anything too far. You don't want a reputation for having a bad attitude. Believe me, I know. I see. But. Sometimes sticking up for myself, <laughs> we'll call it that, worked out for me. When I was in a tag team, I leaned on my partner to make more of the decisions. Then one day, in a barbershop, I stuck up for my own interests. That was the beginning of a new chapter in my career. So, what's the answer? I don't know, kid. I'm just an old timer waxing poetic about the past. But whatever you're thinking or doing, make sure you consider the consequences on all sides. The Queen of Spades about to grace the WWE Universe with true submission expertise. The baddest woman on the planet is here. Ready to take more names and break more arms. The following contest is a tag team. Welcome to day one, where the tag team champions are defending their titles against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, and Ronda Rousey. It may be a brand new day here at day one, but the defending champions look more and more experienced next to each other every day. More like day one thousand. I hope you didn't hurt yourself coming up with that one, Saxton. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Ah, oh, caught on the chin. Oh, look at this wicked striking ability. Look at it. Ava Moreno with the tag. She and her partner appear to be a well-oiled machine. 
Not so fast, Michael. Shayna immediately has Ava's number. I can't believe this after the damage Shayna took. It's becoming clear who's pulling the weight on this team. Anyone can have a bad night, Corey. Ava's almost within reach. If her partner can tag in, she might be able to turn this match around. And the tag was made. Another few seconds and we would have had new champions. Finally, Baszler releases the hold. But she hits the referee. Didn't look like much of an accident. And now Ronda's taking advantage. Shayna setting her up for a Samoan drop. And she nails her partner's signature move. Inspiring to see a team so in sync. Will it be enough? New champs. New champs. Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey have won the Women's Tag Team Championships. You have to wonder if things could have been different if the former champs had been more worried about the titles than each other. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, Cole. Choices were made here tonight, and those choices clearly backfired for the now former tag team champions. We'll have to see if they can regroup and recover from this devastating loss. I, I don't know what happened out there. I don't either. Logically, I knew that a time would come when we'd lose the championships, but I didn't think it would be tonight. Neither did I. Sorry that Shayna got me into the clutch right away. I've lost focus. We all make mistakes. You'll see her coming next time. We'll get past this loss, regroup, and come back stronger than before. And I have loved being more involved with the WWE Universe lately. This podcast turned out to be just the beginning. I may not be able to compete in the ring, but I can certainly lend my knowledge to the next generation of talent, which is why I have a very exciting announcement to make. I've decided to manage one of the top up-and-coming superstars, a true forward thinker, someone who's not afraid to make tough decisions and leave it all out in the ring. She's my new client, and the SmackDown Women's Champion, Dewdrop.